The Independent examines some of the lengthiest spells judges have ordered criminals to spend behind bars, so long they met not just life, but several lifetimes. A majority of state prisoners today serve presumptive sentences. 90% of state inmates can estimate their probable release date, and their discharge from prison is less likely than in the past to be determined by a parole board decision. So in this video, we are going to tell you about the top 5 insane longest prison sentences ever in 2022. The video is going to be amazing so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 5. Gabriel March Granados Gabriel March Granados faced a life sentence of thousands of years in a Spanish prison. There is no confirmed information regarding where he is right now. He does not have social media pages and he has not made himself known since his conviction. The Provincial Court of Palma de Mallorca's prosecutor pressed charges against him in March 1972. They did so after they investigated a series of irregularities in his work. The government found out that he committed 42,768 crimes of infidelity in the custody of documents and theft. In simpler terms, he had not delivered 40,000 pieces of mail in two years. Number 4. William Allen After serving almost 28 years of a life sentence on first-degree murder charges, Allen, now 48, left the Old Colony Correctional Center last week. Allen is living with his family in Brockton. So far the transition to being home has been smooth, he said. He's focusing on spending time with his family. It feels good, Allen said in a phone interview. I just want want to hang out with Pops, my father, and just drive around with him. I think that's like the most important thing right now. Allen was convicted of the 1994 murder of Purvis Bester in Brockton. Though he took part in the robbery that led to the killing, it was his accomplice who fatally stabbed Bester. That man was released on parole more than a decade ago. Because Allen would not plead guilty to murder charges, he was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole under a former state law that allowed for so-called felony murder charges. Number 3. Otman El Nawi A similar technicality applied to terrorist Otman El Nawi, who was given a 42,924-year prison sentence by a Spanish court for mass murder due to his part in the 2004 Madrid train bombings. His accomplice Jomal Zugum got 42,000 922 years of involvement in the bombings that claimed 191 lives. As in Thailand, however, Spanish law limits the time that can be spent in jail, so in practice, the longest either man will remain in prison is 40 years. Number 2. Terry Nichols It took a state jury just five hours to find Nichols guilty of 161 counts of murder for the bombing that destroyed the Oklahoma City Federal Building underscore charges for which Nichols could be sentenced to death. Nichols' 12-member jury will begin deciding his punishment on Tuesday after jurors convicted Nichols on all charges for April 19, 1995, bombing. Nichols sat stone-faced and stared straight ahead as Judge Stephen Taylor announced the guilty verdicts Wednesday. Nichols' six-man, the six-woman jury also convicted him of first-degree arson and conspiracy to commit arson in the bombing. Nichols' mother, Joyce Wilt, and sister, Suzanne McDonald, seated in the courtroom near Nichols, also showed no emotion. Number 1. Bobby Joe Long Robert Joseph Bobby Joe Long, October 14, 1953, May 23, 2019, was an American serial killer and rapist who was executed by the state of Florida for the murder of Michelle Denise Sims. Long abducted, sexually assaulted, and murdered at least 10 women in the Tampa Bay area in Florida for eight months in 1984. He released 17-year-old Lisa McVeigh after 26 hours. McVeigh provided critical information to the police that enabled them to arrest Long. Long was also a serial rapist. Long was sentenced to death for two of the 10 murders he was suspected of committing. He was executed by lethal injection on May 23, 2019. Long committed at least 50 rapes as the classified ad rapist in Fort Lauderdale, Ocala, Miami, and Dade County. Starting around 1981, Long began contacting women through the Penny Saver and other classified ads. When Long found a woman alone, he asked to use the bathroom, took out his rape kit, and raped and robbed the woman. Long was tried and convicted of rape in 1981 but requested a new trial, which was granted. The charges were later dropped. 
let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.